This is our social studies lesson for May 6. We're going to talk about going places. The materials that you will need for today's lesson are your social, social studies past and present magazine, the what is a timeline worksheet, glue, a pencil, scissors, and your crayons. Make sure that you have all these materials ready to go and we'll begin working. Today's lesson is going to be a quick one. I just we've been talking about how different the past is from today. And one of the things that have changed is transportation and the way we get from place to place. Um, going places is the title of today's lesson and the way we get around has changed. All right, so we've been talking about, like I said, how differently things are from the past to present day, which is now. And in the then section, it says, even if your horse was running fast, it took a long time to get from place to place. So in the past, most people um, before cars were invented got around by traveling on horse, either like over here, you can see Sam and Emily, um, they put saddles on horses and they would ride on them. Okay, they used them as a source of transportation. Or <clears throat> they would put carriages on the back and the horses would pull them. That was mostly how people got around in the past until they, they invented things like cars and airplanes and trains. Okay, now like I said, cars and trains go much faster than horses. So those are the ways that we use to travel nowadays. It says traveling from one side of our country to the other in a plane takes only a few hours. On a horse, it would take you many months. In fact, how would you get to one side of the country to the other on a horse? Could you imagine that traveling and traveling? How about going from one country to another on a horse? You couldn't do that because how would you do that on a horse traveling across the ocean? That would be impossible. You could only take a plane. All right, let's go to the next page and see some of um, the ways that transportation has changed over the years. If you look at the slide in front of you, um, I've added some pictures about how things used to look in the past. Now, we're all living now, so we know exactly what things in the present look like, but these are some of the things from the past. In this first picture right here that I'm circling, that is what trains look like in the past. And now we know that they look very modern, they look sleek, and, and they look fast. That's not a very fast looking train, is it? How about the picture below it and a bicycle? What kind of crazy bicycle is that? It has a huge tire in the front. Could you imagine riding a bicycle like that? The bicycles nowadays look much different from those bicycles, don't they? How about over here, this horse and the carriage behind it? You see the carriage? That's what I was talking about. People would put all their belongings, all their stuff and people in the back part of the carriage. And that's how they would travel from place to place so that they wouldn't get wet when it rained or if they had to travel for a long time, they had some place that was covered when they were traveling. The picture below it, this is what airplanes used to look like. If you look back here, you can see that it was even open. So they were just flying in the wind. Isn't that crazy? All right, up here in the top picture of that crazy looking car in front of the lake, that was one of the first cars that were invented. Cars weren't very practical back then. They didn't even have roofs on them. I mean, look at those big tires. Kind of look like a wagon tire, right? So that's what the first cars look like in the past. And then below it is another car as they started to get a little more modern. Okay, they started putting roofs on them because people started to realize that as they were traveling, they didn't wanna get wet when they were driving around. So they started to put roofs on them. They started to also put headlights because they started to realize that people driving at night, they needed to be safer. 
And in our bottom picture down here, that is what um, in the past, that's what the buses look like. Remember, they couldn't drive. They didn't have buses that drove. So they would have a horse in front of like a carriage in the back where people could get on and off at different bus stops. And that's what the buses look like in the past. So it's pretty neat to see how all these things have changed over the years. All right, let's get on to our next slide. Now you should be looking at the worksheet titled, What is a Timeline? The first thing I need you to do is go ahead up here and put your name, whoops, put your name on the paper. And also the date, I've written the date up there. Um, you can go ahead and copy that if you'd like to put the date on there. All right, so make sure you get those done. Press pause if you need to and press play when you're ready to go. Um, so we're going to be talking about what is a timeline, okay? And this time in what is a timeline, we are looking at the past, the present, and the future of transportation. We just looked at um, our magazine, our social studies magazine, at how travel, um, how we get, uh, how we use transportation to get to places has changed from the past and the present. We said in the past, most people used cars. I'm sorry, most people used horses, right? Until they started, or until the invention of cars came about, okay? And um, after that, there was airplanes, there was trains, there was all, all other types of transportation that was invented after that, but it has changed so much over the years. So at the bottom of your paper, you have four different page report, four different pictures. Um, some of them, two of them, if you see, because there's two boxes, one box, two box from the past. Two of those pictures will be from the present. OK, see, there's one, two. OK, so you're going to decide you're going to figure out which of these two pictures, which of these two types of transportation are from the past? Which of these two types of transportation do you want to glue above the present, which is now? Which, which of these types of transportation do we see now in the present? All right, so we have an airplane. Is that from the past or is that something we see now in the present? How about this car? Is that a car from the past? Is that an old car from the past? Or is that a new car that we would see in the present? How about this car? Is that a car that we would put in the past? Or is that a car that we would glue in the present time? And the last picture that we have is this car. Is that a car from the past? Is that an antique car from the past? Or is that a modern car from the present time. Once you're finished gluing your four pictures into the four boxes on past and present, I want you to think, what do you think cars will be like in the future? How much do you think that they will change? Do you think that they'll be flying cars? Do you think cars will drive themselves? Maybe they won't even look like cars anymore. Maybe they'll look like spaceships. I don't know how much they'll change. When I was young, I thought in the future that cars would be driving themselves by now. But who knows? Maybe by the time you're grown up and in your future, cars will be driving themselves. In this box over here, on top of where it says future, I would like for you to draw a picture of what you think cars will look like in the future. Okay, I'm so excited to see what you think cars will look like in the future. I'm waiting to see some awesome cars. Maybe you guys, maybe one of you will be the future engineer of cars of the future. This could be awesome. All right, so remember, you're going to draw the pic a picture of what you think cars will be like in the future. All right, when you're finished with that, that's all for social studies today, and I'll see you tomorrow.